is the fact that I myself was a young person and I remember my struggles as a young person striving to find my place in life um, from a family that was not very well organized, uh, that had actually had failed. And uh, to come out of that situation, uh, there are a lot of people who supported me and helped me. Like I, there's one, one lady who taught me just simply to look people in the eye. I can't imagine how helpful that ended up becoming because in communicating that uh, uh, visual glance, I, I wasn't aware of it. I was very shy. I always looked down. So because I've been helped, I also help. Now, I also published a magazine for young people for many years. Uh, it was called Step Magazine in the 80s. And Step Magazine was a youth magazine. And through it, we also did a lot of youth programs. I also was preaching in many schools. So I've worked with young people all the time. And I, I find a lot of joy in being able to be available to mold or mentor or support or encourage a young person because they are the future. I think that this opportunity, especially at this time when um, we are just emerging from the COVID pandemic uh, effects, the, the ability to interact as a community, um, because I believe that when people interact, they are able to discover themselves. Um, I think you can't discover yourself in a silo. You need to be around people and experiences to discover who you are, what your strengths are, where you fit in community, um, what your contribution is. So I think that the experience is very valuable in the self-discovery. Uh, we are at a very critical point in history where we are redefining who, um, who we are and how we do things. And so I think at this point, this preparation process for young leaders is critical because they need to be prepared for the job at hand. It's not, they're no longer future leaders, they're the now leaders. And the job at hand is to redefine how we do things, how we live life, what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. So being able to break um, what has been into what is supposed to be is their biggest job. And so I believe that we have to prepare them. That's why it's important for me because we need to, to redefine creatively. We need to redefine in freedom and liberty. We need to redefine without being bound by, you know, previous contexts. So we need to be creative about how we build um, going forward. And that's why I think it's important. The value of the Lapid Leaders program is that it's able to empower young people, young graduates with skills and competences that allow them to enter into workspace um, and effectively um, contribute to the organizations that they work for. So I think that is the biggest value for, for Lapid, for the employers, but for the participants themselves, is that they get to discover who they are, they get to discover their strengths, they get to, know, to see the gaps they have, and to do something about those gaps in terms of their own growth. And by that I mean they are now able to take responsibility of their own personal development and career development. I think that's one of the, or some of the benefits or values that LAPID offers. This work is important for me because it is part of the, the burden that I have in my heart to raise the next generation of change makers. Um, I have seen that a lot of young people have a lot of potential, but they're in need for someone who can help them interpret and translate the ideas they have into reality. And part of it is experience. So it's important for me as a person to be part of the solution in raising the next generation of, of leaders by saying this is how you can implement or they can implement the ideas that they have. I would start by saying, as they say, the future is bright. That uh, this tells us that there is hope. We see a lot of potential. We, we see young people that are willing to learn. Uh, they have aspirations, they have dreams, and they are really willing to do something about that. And that gives me hope um, in terms of the leaders of the future. Uh, as they wrestle with things of, of value, their own values, the, their own principles, that helps them prepare for that. Because the, the principles and the values they acquire now are going to stay with them for a long time. So being, I see what Lapid is doing as providing that opportunity for them to wrestle with these things now. And after that, then they're able to see what is it that they want to do with their life.
Thank you.